Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today it's still the back end of winter so I'm going to make a winter warmer, I'm going to make a casserole of short beef rib with leeks, oh yeah! This was requested by Mrs Keith Cooks who may or may not do a taste test later, don't get too excited. She saw it in a magazine last week. So I'm going to adapt it for different cooking methods. The magazine version was just slam it in the oven for hours and hours and hours and use a ton of expensive energy. So this version I'm going to use the pressure cooker which will cut down the cooking time enormously. But also I'll tell you what you can do to do it in a slow cooker. Obviously it takes a lot longer but also uses very little energy. So if you enjoy this video give it a like, share, subscribe etc. Ring a ding ding and let's get on with it. Short beef rib with leeks. This recipe basically breaks down into two separate phases. The first one is to cook the meat and then the next phase is to cook the vegetables and put it together and finish it. So for the first phase I've got 700 grams of beef short ribs. Look at that. Really meaty and oh, fat and juicy and lovely bone in there will just give it so much flavour. Ooh. <laughs> A medium onion, a couple of cloves of garlic and something like Worcester sauce but because I'm in Yorkshire I've got to use this which is Henderson's Relish, Hendo's. Made in Sheffield, legendary and quite hard to get a hold of outside Yorkshire but if you can give it a go, it's really good. Also salt and pepper for seasoning and oil for sautéing and half a litre of beef stock from a cube or the real thing if you can manage it. And as always I forgot something, a couple of bay leaves and a teaspoon of dried thyme. Right, we need to prep these veggie bubbles. Top and tail the onion. And peel it. And then whack it with your magic knife. Now I'll do the garlic, so just top and tail them. And peel them. And then squeeze them through the mincer. Okay, going to start cooking, so I need to season the beef, salt and pepper all over. We need to cook the diced onion and garlic first. So heat some oil in an oven proof casserole. Get that medium hot, then add the onions and the garlic and just gently cook those for about five minutes till they're softened but not brown. And then remove those from the casserole and turn up the heat and add more oil if you need to. And when that's smoking, we'll add the ribs and give them a good old sear on all sides. Okay, now we've got three options for how to finish cooking a beef. The quickest is the good old pressure cooker, which will take 25 minutes. The slowest is a slow cooker, who'd have guessed, and that will take six hours. And the intermediate one is the oven. Set it to 150 degrees Celsius if it's a, a fan oven, a convection oven. That's 170 for a normal one, and that's gas three. So, okay, pressure cooker. Chuck everything in, basically, the onions and garlic. The chunks of beef. The bay leaves. The hendos or Worcester sauce. Actually, a couple of tablespoons. A teaspoon of thyme. And the beef stock. That doesn't actually cover the meat, but I think it'll be okay. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> now we put the pressure cooker on the stove and bring it to the boil and then put the lid on and when it's come up to pressure we'll let it cook for 25 minutes. Now ingredients for the second phase. I've got about 650 grams of waxy potatoes. More on that in a minute. 
a couple of cloves of garlic, one medium onion, and 250 grams of leeks. Also, some cartoon cheese, <laughs> uh, about 80 grams. This is Emmental, you could use Gruyere or Raclette or good old cheddar. Um, it just needs to be a good melty cheese, really. The recipe says waxy potatoes, lots of recipes do, but you go in a supermarket and try and find one, oh no, they're all baking potatoes or all-rounders. Sometimes they're King Edwards or Maris Pipers. Anyway, uh, these are non-specific <laughs> red potatoes but the from Morrison's, but the website said they're waxy. Uh, so we'll see. It doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world if they're not. So those need to be cooked first before we do the other bits. I'm not going to peel them, but I'm going to just cut off these little grotty bits. Just in case they're secretly covering up a wormhole or something. Now I'm going to use my least favourite kitchen gadget ever, the mandolin. Just set it to do, well, basically the thickest slice of it can, which isn't very thick and the guard. Don't even think about using a mandolin without a guard, you idiot. I know what happens from bitter personal experience. And it's not nice. Anyway, slice them. There we go, sliced potatoes, fingers intact. Yes. <laughs> I'll just chuck those in a pan and cover with water, add some salt, bring to the boil and simmer for oh, five or 10 minutes till they're just cooked. Uh, I magically chopped up the onion and the garlic again, different ones. Now we need to do the leeks. So cut the scraggy bits off the end and the top. And give them a good old rinse under cold water because you get tons of muck in these things. Now we slice them thicker than the taties, a bit, but a bit like uh, a bit under a centimetre or half an inch. All right, spuds are cooked, so I'm going to drain them and rinse them under cold water to stop them cooking anymore. Now we need to cook the leeks. So I've got some oil that was left in the uh, casserole and I'm going to add a lump of butter to that. Get those warmed up and then add the onions and the leeks and let those saute for about five minutes. Then we'll add the garlic. Stir it all together, turn it down low, put the lid on and just let it sweat for about 10 minutes. So I'll just fish out the, uh, the meat and the bones. <laughs> Is it falling off? Pretty much. And fish out the bay leaves when you find them. So the leeks are done. Take the leeks and onion mixture out. Now we start building the casserole. We just want to layer potatoes in the bottom, overlap them slightly so they're not completely stuck to the bottom. Now we need to shred the meat. And we'll spread it over the potatoes. Try and get nice even coverage. And then spread the leeks on top of that. And now we'll finish it off with the rest of the potatoes. Now we'll pour the gravy over it. And there's quite a lot more solid material in that than I expected. But I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Now we want to grate our uh, cheese all over it. Then you'll put that back in the oven for maybe about 20 minutes until the top is bubbling and crispy and golden. Alternatively, just put it under the, uh, the grill, the broiler, if the stuff is still quite warm.
Time's up, let's get it out. Ooh, ooh, yeah. That smells amazing. Quite a lot of uh, runny gravy in there. Okie dokie, here it is. And, uh, oh, it smells great. Looks, um, <laughs> looks like a mess, but, uh, yeah. Mmm, fantastic. And guess what? It's St. David's Day today, the patron saint of Wales. Uh, and the national vegetable of Wales is the leek. And, yeah, that is very well cooked. Let's try some very well cooked <laughs> short rib. Yeah, that's yummy. As I said, proper winter warmer comfort food. Did you enjoy this video? Give it a like. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.